hello and happy tuesday so if you're new to my youtube channel my name is amber stewart i am the owner of the stew project where our mission is to help people maximize their living potential by simply taking emphasis on wellness more specifically i help individuals who deal with chronic stress anxiety depression and i help them get through the mental blocks um, that are holding them back so that they can live the life of their dreams in a body that they love so the other day, I'm still visiting my sister, by the way. So the other day, I was walking her new dog, um, Bruce Lee, and he is still a puppy. So he's just like a year or so, a um, little bit over a year. So I was walking him, and he always has this knack of just going, um, one, looking for birds, because he likes to chase birds, and he likes to chase squirrels. So he just goes on these hunts and then um, vermin like rats or rodents that are running around outside because there are rodents in Texas. I don't know. They're threat. They don't live in houses. So obviously they live outside. <laughs> but anyway, um, we were, I was walking him and he would always just keep going wherever he wants to go. And so I would have to hold the leash and guide him to wherever I wanted to go. And if I was just daydreaming and going in my thoughts and letting him go wherever he wanted to go, he would always lead us to weird places like either the dog park, um, even though it was like 86 or 90 degrees outside and nobody was at the dog park. Or he would lead us into bushes um, where birds or um, squirrels were hiding. He would just lead us random places. So I would have to just keep controlling him. And um, while I was doing this, the thought that came to my mind was how um, when we are not monitoring our self-talk and we're going through stressful times, how our thoughts can always go to the negative. And so in the same way you have to control your pets when you're walking them and you keep them on a leash, um, the same way um, you have to control your thoughts and I know a lot of people think like oh I can't help it like it's just what I thought I can't I can't do it and so oftentimes our self-talk um, radiates in ourselves um, simply because either it is a habit or it is a learn something learned from somebody um, who embedded these thoughts into us so if you constantly um, doubt yourself um, have self-esteem or self-worth issues or issues um, believing in yourself or um, being optimistic these are all just habits and maybe the voice in your head reminds you of um, something that um, a loved one or a co-worker or somebody um, close to you said to you that really hurt your feelings or sorry there's hair on the back i was like what the heck sorry I'm, anyway but oftentimes like these thoughts can range in our heads and um if we don't control them if we don't take control and stop them and use a leash and pull them back and say whoa whoa, whoa i'm not allowing you to go any further like this is it and you gear your steer your thoughts towards a new direction then you're just going to keep going to the dog park or keep going to um, into the bushes, places you don't want to go. And so it's really important to monitor your self thoughts um, and your self talk because they help dictate your actions and your behavior. And if you are allowing your thoughts to just one wild and rampant, then you're going to get whatever comes as a result of those thoughts. Your behaviors are just going to be a result of those thoughts. And so you have the power to control those things. Now, if you are dealing with chronic stress or anxiety, you may need to look into alternative methods to healing those issues because if you have neuroinflammation or inflammation in your brain um, or an unhealthy gut bacteria, then you may have um, health reasons as to why these thoughts keep circulating in your head. If you have um, a spiritual disconnect between you and your spiritual self, you may also have these rampant thoughts running wild. And sometimes it just takes you centering yourself, doing meditation. Um, 
actually looking at these thoughts with curiosity like okay I keep thinking these things are they true are they um factual um are these believable like is this something that I believe is this something that my creator believed in me like if these things aren't true if they aren't factual if they aren't real then you're allowing false truths to run rampant in your mind and then once you realize like okay these thoughts aren't true they aren't factual and i have proof that these thoughts aren't true or factual then you are most definitely um, capable of changing those thoughts to more uplifting powerful thoughts that are true and this is why it's so important to be grounded in your faith to know who you are because at your core you're just a spiritual being and in order to understand who you are at your spiritual being you need to understand your spiritual self so um that means like reading your scriptures, connecting with yourself, connecting with nature, just finding your passions. And this is one of the things that I teach in my Maximize Your Living Potential coaching program. And this is something that I created um, modules for in my Stress Alchemy online course, which is basically just a DIY course version of my coaching program and so um, if you want to know more information about either of those programs um, you can just look in the link below for more information or in the comic set in the comment section and you can get all those questions asked but yeah um, that's all I wanted to talk about today just monitoring your self-talk and not allowing them to take you wherever they want to go but being in control and I hope this helps. Happy Tuesday.